Unlock the power of effortless data analysis with this charting hack. No longer will you be bogged down by complex data comparisons. I'll walk you through the process of comparing population data like a seasoned pro with this simple trick. With just a few clicks, you'll gain valuable insights, spot trends, and make data-driven decisions. Whether you're a data enthusiast or a business professional, mastering this simple yet effective data analysis technique will save you time and effort, allowing you to focus on what truly matters, leveraging data to drive success. You've probably heard about aging populations in this country or that country, and I've seen articles of aging populations that when I see a chart that shows something like this, then it makes it really clear. Now, you don't have to go through a lot to make something like this. In fact, this can be done in less than 10 minutes. Let's see how we can do this. And the secret to this is it doesn't need to be done with an insert chart command. All you need to do is use conditional formatting. So let's see how. I'm gonna select my column of data here from the mails, go to conditional formatting, and go to the data bars and select my fill. Let's make it this blue fill, blue for boys, and let's do it the one for females and make this one pink. Now let's try something close to pink uh, right here. Now it doesn't look anything close to this, but what we can do is we can do some setup here. In this case, we won't want these to go the other way. We don't, we don't want them going from left to right. We want to go the other way. So what I need to do is select that, go back to conditional formatting, manage rules, and under this particular data bar, go to edit. In edit, what we want to do is set the bar direction instead of context. We want to do it from right to left. And what we can see is we got a preview here. It's going from right to left. Now we don't need these numbers here to show up too. We, we don't want to have these numbers show up. And so we can click this checkbox and have it only show the bar only. Click OK, click OK. And now we've got our nice little chart here. This mini chart. Do the same thing here. Go to select that, conditional formatting, manage rules, and edit the rule. I don't think we need the numbers. And the direction is heading in the right way. But you know, if we want to be sticklers, we can say left or right, doesn't change. Select show bar only, click OK, and click OK to get out. And we've got our male, female here. And it looks nice and pretty. If I wanted to make this a little bigger, select both columns and kind of spread out the column to make it look like that. And if you wanted to make it look nicer, turn off the grids. Go to view, take off the grid lines, and we've got our chart here. Not finished yet, there's more. If this is something we want to put into a PowerPoint, all we need to do is do some more formatting. Let's say I want to put a little, little uh, border there. I'll put a border here, have that border there. Maybe give it some space. Select that row, right click, insert a row, and center these. These are like left centered, center this. And if we want to copy it, select this, Control C to copy. Let's put it over here to see what it looks like if I paste it somewhere. Control V to paste, but make sure that when I paste it, I want to paste it as an image. Otherwise, we're just pasting it as the data itself. So you're going to click on that little drop down there and just paste it as an image. And this becomes an image that you can put anywhere else, right? There's no data behind this. It's just a picture now. And I'm just showing it here on Excel because you can just copy it as an image. You can also do the same thing if you copy this and then go to PowerPoint and then paste it as an image there. And you just get the image and not the data that's behind there. And this just is a nice way to show a chart. And you don't have to use the charting features. You just use conditional formatting. And it makes it look very presentable. Hopefully, this method gave you the tools and knowledge to effortlessly analyze population data with confidence and gain a deeper understanding of your data and covering valuable insights. To see more videos like this, click the banner at the end.